GE Range Model PHS 93X YPFS Troubleshooting GE Profile 30-inch Smart Slide in Electric Induction Range with 5 Elements Smooth Top Wi-Fi Enabled 5.3 Cubic Feet Total Oven Capacity Convection Delay Bake Self-Cleaning Mode Storage Draw Troubleshooting Step 1 Make sure your GE electric oven controls are set for either bake or broil if the oven does not heat, but the burners do heat. Check the oven door and make sure it is in the unlocked position. Move the lever to the unlocked position if it is locked. Step 2. Check the oven knobs and make sure they are in the right position if the device is not producing heat. If you had previously removed the knobs, inspect them to ensure you reinstalled them properly. Step 3. Unplug your GE electric oven and check the fuse. The fuse is usually located in the main house fuse box on the back of your unit. The location may vary with different models, so refer to your unit's manual. If the fuse looks smoky or black, it is likely blown. Replace it. Purchase a fuse from a retail, hardware or appliance store. Bring the old fuse to a store so a representative can help you purchase the right replacement. Step 4. Insert the new fuse in the fuse box by pushing it into the holder until it snaps into place. Step 5. Check the burner caps on your GE oven and make sure they are properly fitted in the compartments. Make sure they are perfectly seated and do not wobble. Check the burner heads for dirt and debris. Clean them if they are dirty. Step 6. Check your oven's LED display. If you see error codes between F0 to F9, the key panel is likely damaged. These error codes could also mean the electronic control must be replaced. Contact a qualified appliance technician to inspect and repair the key panel and the electronic control. Step 7. Contact a qualified technician if you see the following error code. Bad line. This error code appears if the unit has not been wired correctly. If you see an FD or FC error code, the probe or receptacle must be replaced. Replacing these components is very difficult, so contact a qualified technician. 